So this year we're celebrating our 20th anniversary. So within this watchmaking world, we're like a startup. But uh, thanks to the Family Foundation, we did a very good job till now. They invested some money and bought companies which are producing spare parts for watches, which means that we are completely independent, although we are very young. But we can do every single spare part which we need for a watch. We produce it in-house. That's why we are able to do such a variety of old horlogerie timepieces. The Tonda 1950 is a very classy, discreet watch which you can wear anytime, anywhere. And since 2012 we had some varieties and modifications of that classical piece. It comes now with diamonds, without diamonds. Then it comes as a chronograph and the gold versions and the most exclusive one is a tourbillon. we have to realize the various elements of the, the various components of the watch. So if we start with the process of manufacturing the case, normally a case is made of three different components, the bezel, the body, and the case back. Another important activity is the polishing. So this is an important process which has to be made also with skilled people having been uh, trained for, for a long time in order to make sure that they are not destroying what the machine has realized. So they will be spending between minutes and hours to polish one case. When the process is done, the cases are brought to the assembly where in addition to the bezel, the case and the case back, we will put a sapphire crystal in order to read the time on one side and on the other side have the possibility to see the decoration of the movement. At the same time, we are working on the dial. It starts also with a mechanical operation, drilling the central hole, preparing the place where probably you will have the indication of the time. Then we have to put color on this dial. And for this, we use what is called the electrodepositing process with the use of electricity and uh, chemical treatment, we will put the color which is requested to the dial. When this is made, we bring the piece to what we call the transferring operation. You have a number of indications on a dial. You must be able not only to read the time, but maybe to see the, the phases of the moon. If it is a chronograph, you have a 12 minute and 30 minute counter. So you have various informations that can be read with the help of what we call the transferring operation. You, you simply stamp the information on the dial. The last part, and probably one of the most delicate one, is to realize the chapters, the small indexes, Roman or Arabic numerals that will be riveted on the dial. When all is done, the dial is ready. With the use of CNC machines, we will work on a piece of metal in order to prepare the place for the various elements of the movement. Movements and sometimes composed of more than 400 different parts that have to be manufactured individually. This is also one of the Parmigiani signature, is the fact that we are decorating every single element of the movement, even the one that you do not see, because we know that one day one of the watchmakers somewhere in the world will uh, dismantle the watch to, to service it and will have the opportunity to discover the beauty of the movement. When the process is realized, we do the assembly. We take every single element and we put all these elements together. It is in the average lasting for a few days, depending on the kind of, of watches. It can last up to we have some pieces that are requesting 400 and, and almost 500 hours of work in order to complete the uh, assembling process. And when this process is done, uh, you take the complete movement with a dial, with a case, with the hands and with a bracelet, and you put everything together to have a final product. The 
the vision for the future at Parmigiani is to never stand still and uh, take a look at the future and show the world that uh, Parmigiani is really into, into watchmaking and dedicating everything to the perfection of timepieces.